Hello Bitrickers, today we want to have a look at the Bitrick script for the little APC Mini, which might look very cute and limited, but it has a lot of functionality and even it has a lot of features taken from the big push controller. It has the full functionality as well as you can have with Ableton, but much, much more. So the basic usage concept is that you press the shift button and select one of these. Clip, solo, rec, arm, mute and select. And this functionality is then available on these buttons. So currently if I press shift, it's clip, stop is selected. We could change that to solo for example and if I then press one key it is soloed. Same for mute. If I turn one off it is muted. The lower part is just the volume settings so this one changes now the volume of the first channel, second channel and so on. And the right hand buttons if not shift is pressed they act as a scene launch. So we have a scene playing. You can change the volume. Now we're in mute mode, so we can mute. We can change clip stop, so let's stop that one. Or you can just press it and start on clip. Pretty straightforward. Also for select, you can select that track. And so on. These faders are not only for volume, you can change them here. Also, if you press shift, you can change as a panorama controller and as a send controller. Uh, you can toggle through all the sends. So now I could control the first send. And you can also go to device, then you are controlling device parameters. Let's go to that one here. So you see the, the colored ones are the one you are controlling now with your faders. This is the basic functionality you get out of the box with Ableton Live, but with the Bitrix script you can do much, much more. To get to this functionality you also use the shift button. And as you have seen there is some functionality as well as here. You have five basic modes. The first one was a clip start. The second one is for playing it. So this is a full play mode from the push script. And what you can, you can change several things here. For example, you can transpose it up and down with these two buttons and you can change the scale with this one. And you can even change uh, the bass note uh, of the scale, also with shift. So you see this is kind of a keyboard. So these are the white keys, these are the black keys. And you can say, for example, I like to have D uh, minor set. Then you're playing D minor. So this was the play mode. Next one is that one is the drum mode. So in that part you have your drum pads, but that makes more sense with a drum grid. So let's go to a drum grid. Ah, that looks better. So we can play the drum grid. You have here the length of the clips. So the next one is uh, the sequencer mode and the last one is the uh, experimental raindrop sequencer, which I already explained as well in the push uh, tutorial and in APC 40 tutorials, so look at them for reference. And here on the right corner, if you're pressing the shift key, there is uh, also some functionality. So this one was the play. That one creates a new empty clip and enables it for override so you can record into it. That one toggles override mode. And that one enables and disables recording. That one enables toggling, so repeat in, in arrange mode. And that one is for quantization, but to make quantization work, you have to have a MIDI clip in view and you need to have the focus there. Then only the quantization is working. That one toggles the metronome. So metronome. Tiki-taki, tiki-tak. And metronome off again. 
and that one is the undo button so you can undo something that was a quick overview over the APC Mini. As I said, if you want to know more about the different modes, watch the Push for Bitwig tutorials and I think you will get the full explanation. So thanks for watching and goodbye!